Hey guys, welcome back to Never Tasted Better. Today, I wanna show you guys how to take a simple box chocolate cake mix and we are going to make bakery level cupcakes out of this. If you made these box cake mixes before, you'll know that it calls for water, oil, and eggs. We're going to change this Instead up. Instead of using those ingredients, I'm going to be using one cup buttermilk, half a cup oil, half a cup coffee, four large eggs. You can use any kind of chocolate cake mix you want to use. Go ahead, pour it into a large mixing bowl, add your oil, add the coffee, your buttermilk, which I warmed for 30 seconds, your eggs should all be at room temperature, add all of them in. Whisk it up really well, making sure all of those lumps disappear. Yes, I do let my son lick the batter. Line a 12 count cupcake tray with the cupcake holders. So I have some Reese's cups here. Now this step is optional, but I'm going to place these into our cupcake before we bake them. It's going to be a really nice little surprise when you bite into your cupcake. This will be great. It's gonna be great, huh? Yeah, for Hammer, for Lucy Girl. Yeah, it's her she's, birthday. She still love it. Yes, she will love it. Fill each cupcake three quarters of the way full, being careful not to overfill it because remember, we still have to put our Reese's cups in. For the fun part, guys, go ahead and place each Reese's cup into the center of your cupcake, the center, <laughs> and make sure you press it down. I forgot to press mine down, and so the cupcake had a really nice tall peak to it. So press your candy all the way down. We're going to bake these guys for 14 to 19 minutes at 375 degrees. If we're going to really fool people, guys, and make them believe that these chocolate cupcakes came from a bakery, then I'm going to go ahead and make my own homemade peanut butter frosting. It's up to you. You don't have to do this part. You can opt out and just do the store-bought frosting, but I really recommend making your own homemade peanut butter frosting. This tastes delicious. I've made it before. The chocolate and the peanut butter with those Reese's cups go great together. To make the whipped peanut butter frosting, you're going to need two sticks unsalted butter at room temperature, one and a quarter cup creamy peanut butter. We are going to mix this up until it's light and fluffy and creamy. You don't want any lumps of butter in there, guys. You want it nice and smooth. Once it's mixed, we're going to scrape down the bowl, getting that leftover peanut butter off the sides, and we're going to sift in two cups powdered sugar. Start out by mixing on a low setting, and you're going to mix it until it's completely combined. Scrape down the sides again, getting that powdered sugar off the sides. Add in two to three teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Also, a nice drizzle of heavy cream, and we're going to mix it one last time until it's fluffy. Lucy is going to be one, so these cupcakes are going to be for her birthday. Our cupcakes are now cooled off, and you see those little peaks from the candy. No worries, we're going to frost over it. Nobody will know. For frosting the cupcakes, I just put the frosting in a piping bag, snipped off the ends, and just did some swirls. Super easy, and you didn't even notice those little peaks. I just want to say that these cupcakes came out so much lighter and much more moist than they would have if you would have just followed those regular directions. And you get a nice little surprise inside. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. I'll say bye for now. Bakery style, guys. <laughs>